Good morning, Trailblazers. We're here at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, taking in a great view from the observation deck of Wildfire. Wildfire is a 2001 B&M sit-down coaster with views like no other. We're here during the park's fall event known as Pumpkins in the City. Let's check out a few of the attractions and see what's going on in the park. Silver Dollar City is an 1880s themed park that is home to American craftsmanship. This park got its start as a cave tour for Marvel Cave. This cave can still be discovered for free today included with your park admission. No matter where you look, the architecture stands out and there's always something interesting to look at. Our first stop of the day is the Plaza of Outlaw Run. Outlaw Run is the 2013 Golden Ticket Award winning RMC Topper Track Wooden Coaster. Outlaw Run stands at 107 feet tall, but features a drop of 162 feet by using the natural terrain. Now this ride is loved by some, but hated by most, from what I've heard. Most complain of its roughness, and honestly, I agree. There is a massive pothole after the first drop that can make or break the entire ride. As for my dozens of rides on this thing, I can confirm the only good way to enjoy this ride is by riding in row 11 the second to last row. Now if you can't score row 11, any of the odd numbered rows will be your best friend. The only other attraction located in Wilson's Farm is the Giant Barn Swing, which is an SNS Screamin' Swing. If you sit on the correct side of the Giant Barn Swing, you can get some fantastic views of Mystic River Falls just below you. Over in Rivertown, you'll find Mystic River Falls. This was the park's new for 2020 investment built by RES Engineering from Switzerland. This ride came in with a price tag of $23 million and it was to replace the old ride that was known as Lost River the Ozarks. Along with Mystic River Falls came Rivertown and Mr. River Falls will always be the spectacle of this area with its 82 foot tall rotating elevator lift tower. Fun fact, the park used to have a premier rides liquid coaster known as Buzzsaw Falls. This attraction uses the old pumps from that ride. Over on Valley Road, you'll find Time Traveler, the 2018 Mock Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster. Mm -hmm. 
Time Traveler has a 90 degree drop straight out of the station that can offer hang time in the front and a complete pull of ejector air time in the very back two rows. After that initial 90 degree drop, you're met with a dive loop, a launch, a vertical loop, a zero G roll, and the second launch to get back up to the station. Time Traveler is an absolute fan favorite of the park. This ride offers extreme ejector airtime, hang time, laterals, and complete disorientation with the spinning cars. Thunderation is the park's aerodynamics mine train and it seems to be overshadowed by Time Traveler being right next door. Because the station of Thunderation is halfway up the hillside, it has a very unconventional mine train layout. It features the first gravity fed portion into a helix, through a tunnel, down a big swooping turn next to Time Traveler, then up the ride's only lift hill into the grand finale large drop straight into the station. Now my favorite attraction of the park is always going to be Powder Keg. Powder Keg is an SNS compressed air launch coaster that has a lot of quirky elements. By quirky elements, I mean as soon as you leave the station you're going up a transfer track. Then you connect to the launch track, have that compressed air launch, then halfway through the course you go up a lift hill. No matter where you sit on this ride you're sure to have a blast. Every row on the ride delivers extreme ejector airtime over the first hill, you get some nice floater airtime over the second hill, and extreme laterals going into the lift hill. Now when I talked about Mystic River Falls, I mentioned Buzzsaw Falls using the same pumps as Mystic does today. Powder Keg uses some of the track and the lift hill from the original Buzzsaw Falls attraction. The most iconic ride of Silver Dollar City is the original Fire in the Hole. Fire in the Hole is an indoor coaster built by the park, and unfortunately it is closing at the end of the year. This channel is a work in progress and we thank everybody for making it this far in our first ever video. Please give us your thoughts in the comments below. Be different, stay wild, and take the unbeaten path. And as trailblazers, let's ride.